All right, buddy. See you later. Wait till you guys see what I got at the store. Welcome to your new home. Today's video is sponsored by the Ridge Wallet, but more on them later. What is going on my fellow fish guys and girls? Fish Guy Jack here, back with another video. Today's the day I've been waiting for for about a week now, and that was to make sure our lovely fish right here, our black and white damsel, survived. As you guys all know, two videos ago I posted that my Mimic Octopus died, and you know what, I didn't know what the case could have been, because the water is perfect, but the good news is, is that this water is good and we're good to go with fish. So in today's video, we're gonna be heading over to the fish store today and we're gonna be getting some mini predators for this aquarium. We're gonna do saltwater fish, mini predators. Might get one, two, three, who knows, but it's gonna be a good video. Now I really wish I could get some new fish for this tank right here, but sadly, Bolt, Spike, Zeus, I think they're all happy with who they have inside the tank right now and they don't want anybody else inside here, but I'll tell you what, I really love Bolt, he's so active. Usually eels hide up in the rocks, but bolts out and about. And I think maybe today we're gonna be looking to get an eel for this aquarium. As you guys all know, I wanna put a panther grouper, a trigger fish, an eel, maybe an angel fish, but all super small inside this aquarium and watch them grow. It's gonna be an awesome video. I also have plans to literally go fishing with Fish Guy Kyle here in about 30 minutes. So it's gonna be an awesome video. But before we hop into it, I gotta give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Ridge. What I love about this wallet is how easily it slips in and out of your pocket, which makes checking out the register way less frustrating. We've all had the time when we're at the register getting ready to pay and we're fishing around in our pocket trying to get our old bulky wallet out, but thanks to the Ridge wallet, those days are over. Now, not only is it easy to get out of your pocket, but it's so easy to remove the cards with just a little poke and the cards come right out. Another thing that I love about the Ridge wallet is how durable it is. You can drop it, Stop on it and even throw it and she's still in perfect condition. As we all know, Father's Day is right around the corner and it's time to get your dad to ditch the old bulky wallet and replace it with a Ridge wallet. And you can use my code FISHGUYJACK to save 15%. So go down, click the link in my description and get yourself a Ridge wallet. Now back into today's video. Y'all, I'm absolutely ecstatic to go fish this lake right now because last time I was there, there was peacocks galore. I'm talking, I, I couldn't even count how many and there were so many snakeheads. Literally the whole lake is filled with exotics. We got about two dozen shiners inside here absolute candy for what we're going after we got kyle through the window right there we're gonna absolutely crush some fish today i'm absolutely stoked let's get to the lake Alrighty, we've arrived at the lake here we got fish guy kyle ready to rock and roll oh i forgot to cut my tag ends off but you know what i want to start doing more is telling you guys the rig that I'm using. So, got just a little 10 J hook right there, 20 pound fluorocarbon leader, some 10 pound braid, 1000 size reel, a light rod, and that's all you really need right now. Snip those tags, bada bing, bada boom. All right, it's go time. This shouldn't take very long, Kyle. Let me grab a shiner. I'm gonna fish from up here. All right, take this live shiner, hook it literally right through the upper lips. That's all you need. My favorite spot to put it is right here next to this ladder. This should not take long. Usually they're, especially when it's sunny like this, it is, uh, they're seeking shade, they're seeking cover. So anywhere near the shade is a great little spot. Come on. Last time I was here, it was, it was instant. Yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. Maybe we just gotta start talking to him, Kyle. Oh, come on. Biggin, biggin, biggin under the dock. Biggin under the dock, Kyle. Oh, oh. Oh my God, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, you wrapped me. Okay, there we go. This is a toughie. Oh, I got him. Dude, look at that thing, hang on. Holy God, get me in the shade. Dude, that's a real one. That is a freaking good one right there. Pop that hook out, peacock bass, baby. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. As you guys can see, see this bump on his head right here? That's how you know that this fish is a male. Kind of like a flower horn cichlid, they grow this big old hump here. And that's how you know if it is a male or a female. If it has the hump, it's a male. If it doesn't, it's a female. All right, there he is. Beautiful fish. We're gonna go ahead and get him back in the water. That hump is just so cool. Check out those colors. Really, really beautiful. All right, buddy, see you later. There he goes. Off like a dream, right back where we caught him. Fish number one in the books, the skunk is off. Now, this should come easy, baby. We gotta get Kyle on a fish. We just saw a big snakehead as soon as we got here. There's tons of peacocks in here, largemouth, snakeheads, you name it, is inside this lake, full of exotics, baby. We should catch a lot of fish. Got a stick fish, bro. Love these. Love these. Wow, that's a good, best catch of the day. Beats that peacock we caught earlier. Oh yeah, yeah, there's a peacock. Get him, Kyle. 
Bounce your, bounce your shiner a little. Dude, they're hiding in the shade. We just had one come swim right across. Come on. Didn't even know. I didn't even know. He ate it way back in there. All right, well, it's good to see these things around here, especially with all the snakeheads there in this lake. It's good to see some bass, some native fish here, still thriving in the lake. Alrighty, the Florida largemouth bass right there. We love seeing these guys in the lake, especially with all these exotics. It's good to see these largemouth bass still inside here. Let's go ahead, get this guy released into the water. There he goes. Get on out of here. I grew up fishing on this lake, catching five, six, seven, eight, nine pound bass literally all day long. I come here and just catch little bluegills, throw them out in the middle and just catch some giants. And you know what? I haven't caught a largemouth bass in here in a very long time. Usually it's the snakeheads and the peacocks, which are the exotics, which is awesome, but it's good to always get back to your roots and catch a nice largemouth bass. Now what's left on the agenda is a snakehead, but we gotta get Kyle on something here. Kyle might be fishing 30 pound. We don't, we, you know, we can't identify it, but I think it might be the problem yeah, here. 30. I think it might be 32. I think he might have to switch up. Yeah, that's 30. But we got, a, we got a storm coming in here and you know what? I don't really know how much longer we're gonna have here, but after this, we're going to buy something from the store that I have my eye on, that I've had my eye on for a while and uh, I'm looking forward to it. So let's keep fishing, try to catch some more fish and then we're heading to the store. All right, as I'm here watching this storm approach, I'm thinking, all right, shade's gonna come out, fish are gonna start moving around. Could be good, but as long as we don't get struck by lightning. Got a nice frisky shiner here. We're gonna try tail hooking this one, I think. Uh, actually, no, no, you know what? Why? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's what they say, Kyle, right? That's what I say. Yep, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Hook this puppy right up through the lips, shut the lid, bada bing, bada boom, let's get to fishing. Let's get to fishing. I'm gonna fish this sawgrass right here. Come on, give me a bite. Last time I didn't even know that bass ate it. Literally had no clue. I just got bit, I just got bit. No, 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 Kyle, no. Get another one, get another bait. Get another bait, don't waste any time, Kyle. Don't waste any, uh, oh, sugar, wasting waste time. time. Wasting time. Hook that up just like that, let's go. Let's throw them in there, perfect, perfect. Come on, come on, come on. Let's see if we can get that same fish to come back and eat it. Whoa, 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 here we go, here we go, here we go, and we have thunder, and we have thunder. This is gonna be a buzzer beater, guys. We have thunder, and we have a nervous bait. Dude, this storm don't sound too nice. That's the lightning alarm. Yep, there's the lightning alarm, Kyle. I think we should get the hell out of here. <laughs> I think we gotta get the heck out of here. But dude, I might catch a fish right here. Right. That's the lightning alarm, bro. It's already taking over the sun. We gotta get the heck out of here. Here I am, storm approaching, still fishing with a freaking rod in my head, in my hand, ready to get struck by lightning. That is not smart. I think, I think we need to be smart here. Kyle, I think we need to get the heck out of here. We gotta roll. Well, we're not trying to get struck by lightning, so off to the fish store we go. So you guys see what I got at the store. We're not gonna waste any time here. We're gonna get this guy getting going inside of the tank. This thing is absolutely beautiful. I've never actually owned one of these, but I'm so excited to stock this thing up with predators. As I was looking around at the store, there were so many fish I could have bought, but I decided to walk out of the store with this guy right here. Oh my God, he's out of the water right now. Let's get him acclimating. This is a snowflake moray eel right here, and it's a baby. I can't wait to see this thing grow. Now let's get him acclimating. Give this dude about 20 minutes and he's going inside. Alrighty, take a look at that little guy down there. I think he's definitely ready to go inside the tank. He's a about, I'd say about nine inches long, maybe 10, but I need an awesome name for this guy down below. He's got a really, really cool pattern. It was between him and one that was a little bit bigger, but I like the pattern on this guy a little bit more. White, yellow, gold, black, brown, you name it. There's his little head right there. Let's make sure we get a good name for him. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get him in the aquarium. For some reason, I always struggle to get eels in the aquarium because you know what? I got a net in one hand, a camera in another. We're trying to get him inside of the tank and these guys are squirmers. Let's see if we can get this first try. Come on, little guy. Get him on it. There he goes, he's in. Perfect, oh my God, that fish is absolutely beautiful. Welcome to your new home. Oh, baby. There he goes. He's inside the tank. Hang on. Let me put the lid back on. Actually, no, we got to take advantage of this before he finds the rock. That thing is beautiful. The damsel's checking him out. Oh my God. Once he sees, I think he might see the rock in the reflection, but once he sees it, he's going to beeline it for it. 
I'm definitely gonna add some more rock to this aquarium, but the snowflake eel is definitely a very underrated eel. I mean, it's a very common eel, but I don't think they get enough love. These guys are super beautiful. Look at the pattern on him. He's like a cheetah. He's uh, he's definitely like a cheetah. He's beautiful though. Head over to the little rock. Get your way in there. We're definitely gonna add some more rock to this tank as well, but I cannot wait to add a bunch of mini little predators just like this guy right here. It's gonna be an awesome aquarium. This guy is just dancing around here and there, but as you guys know, this tank stand is for a 55 gallon tank. So the 30 is gonna work for now. And you know what, as the fish get bigger, I think we're gonna have to upgrade to the 55. This guy seems to be a swimmer. He seems to be a swimmer, just for representation. He's about as long as my hand, I'd say. So I'd say he's about nine, 10 inches long, but the guys at the store said he's really healthy and he sure is beautiful. I can't wait to see this guy grow. It's gonna be an awesome tank with a lot more to come. So subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on it. This guy is definitely a dancer, that's for sure. Make sure we put this lid back on. He's still moving around, but he's a beautiful addition to the tank. One of probably about five fish inside here. And uh, eventually, I don't know, do we wanna keep this guy or not? Because if we don't, I think we maybe are gonna have to feed him too the big boys over there. These two guys are hanging out. That is an awesome new addition to the tank. And before we wrap this video up, I gotta do the shout outs. Here we go from YouTube, shout out to Tiny Home Travels. From the Discord, shout out to Fish Guy Mello. And from the Instagram, shout out to Max Malter. The support has been unreal lately on all my videos. I greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to go down, click the link in my description, get yourself a Ridge wallet, and use my code FISHGUYJACK to save 15%. I love each and every single one of you guys. You all mean the world to me. I'll catch you all in that next video. Peace out.